Hey everyone, this is Seka here. I wanted to take you on a tour of a little experiment that I did last year. I incorporated bullet journaling and my grimoire into my iPad Pro. And I wanted to just take you a little page by page on how I did that and what I used and how this year's grimoire looks a little different from last year's. I know some of you have been along for the ride and watching me do different artistic pages for the hard copy of the grand grimoire that I use. However, I do use like this pocket style grimoire for uh, moon cycles and sabbats and day-to-day -day synchronicities that I want to write down that I can keep on me all the time instead of uh, using a giant book with me. So this is Good Notes 5 and they just updated it. Uh, so it looks a little different from the original Good Notes 4 but this system I just love. I love being able to drag and drop the pages wherever I want and also using clip art and um, stuff from Pinterest just to jazz up my pages a little bit. So this is what kind of the index looks like for any of the Good Notes apps. And you're able to um, bookmark different pages and organize them how you like. And this is my first time using this recording device, this recording app on my iPad. So you'll have to bear with me. As you can see at the top, I have both grimoires side by side and I wanted to show you a little bit of how um, they're different from last year to this year and how I use them. Started uh, during Beltane and I tried to keep up with the tarot spreads for each moon and the different sabbats. So let me take you through just uh, page by page what I used. So my first page, and it's the same for the 2019 grimoire, I love to keep track of when the full moons will be. So this is the 2019. I found a different layout that I liked a little better. So I used that one on 2019. But this is 2018, and here at the top there are different options. I'm still getting used to the new, new layout for GoodNotes 5, but it allows you to select, drag, and resize, and cut and paste. And here's another lunar calendar, uh, which I found on Pinterest, and it it uh, documented when solar eclipses and lunar eclipses were happening. I highlighted my uh, where my birthday was here. I have the same one for 2019. I didn't highlight anything. I just like how it's laid out. So as far as that's concerned, those two are the same. I'd like to know when the meetups will be for the different Sabbaths that I go to, as well as the what day they fall on. I kept with my moon theme, but I changed it a little bit. I found this particular layout online and I added an inner circle here so I can write down when the meetups will be. But as you can see, I drag and drop, copy and paste some of these um, little clip art pieces instead of just <laughs> these were hand drawn. So, as you can tell, they, uh, they're not the best. I love using grid paper, but for this, I probably didn't need to. I just like to have everything uh, in line and organized. I had been using a regular bullet journal to document Sabbaths and Moons previous to this, and in there, I did a year ahead spread, which is what uh, I have after the Wheel of the Year in Sabbath meetups. Um, but I didn't include it on this 2018 one. So in 2018, for each of the Sabbaths, I tried to do a tarot spread, and these I just found on Pinterest. One of my favorite things to do for Beltane is create this Beltane wine, which is in the hard copy of my, my Grand Grimoire. For May's moons, I did side by side, usually for each month I did the new moon and full moon, what they symbolized and a tarot pull for those moons. And I really, really loved the layouts from this Pinterest user. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. If it comes up later in the book, I will make sure to credit it. Uh, and then 
for uh, the new and full moons, I would document what I was um, releasing and what I wanted to manifest here. I would try to keep track of any symbols or synchronicities that would happen, anything that would happen in my dreams. Again, just using stickers from Pinterest. Um, in this process, uh, there are videos all over YouTube of how to copy and paste and crop different clip art or different images, which um, if you want me to do a video, I will do. And here's one for Letha. Again, I use the tarot spread and different visuals for that time of year. If anyone is interested, a lot of these designs are on my Pinterest, which is public, so you can visit that. It's at Second Designs. And here, if you scroll down, I have a full Wheel of the Year organized category for the Sabbaths. Again, for the June moon, side by side. Oh, these were by noblelionprince.com. I really loved their design, so I used those quite a few times in this. And here for the June moons, I did the full and new moon, what I wanted to release, and I obviously forgot to write down what I wanted to manifest that day. My synchronicity page for June was uh, lacking and July also was not a artistic month as you can tell. I think by July I was considering proposing to my boyfriend at the time. The different tarot spreads on here are from aceofstartarot.com. This one is not. I'm not sure where. Let's see what this says. M15 Chief at Moonstorm is where that spread comes from. July synchronicities and manifestations. This is Lamas. I love this teapot series. There is one for each Sabbath, and I will find out the artist and link those, but I'm using this series in my bullet journal as well as my new grimoire. They're so adorable. Again, I wanted to reflect on what the tarot reading was, so I had a little space for that. August moons in Leo, full and new moon. I did not do a reflection. August synchronicities. As you can see here, I was trying to play around with uh, using font, white font over images, which kind of worked. I had so much fun with my Samhain page because it's my absolute favorite time of year. And just having a space for um, remembering my loved ones and honoring the darkness and the light within me. Another tarot spread. This is by a different artist. The Curious Cardslinger.co.uk. Yule is a little lacking also. I was not feeling this winter coming along. It didn't feel like winter here in Southern California. However, we pushed through and um, just tried to reflect on what this time of year meant to me, make sure I could look back and acknowledge that and honor that. Here in 2019, again, I have my moons, which I showed you, and the vertical lunar calendar, the cyclical Sabbath calendar, and here is my year ahead spread, and I'm trying to give myself a little space beside to reflect on each month what it meant to me. And these I was able to just copy and paste from the internet, which was really helpful. I love the color, I love the layout. I like being able to see it in front of me. I think on last year's year ahead spread, I just listed uh, what the number was or what the card was and wrote beside it what it meant but this i love having the visual writer weight and for the 2018 i used uh, a space on each sabbath page for my intention and i might still include that but I, right here i can see month by month how my um focuses change and where where my passions are shifting so i wanted to have that all in one page this one is for imulk and i'm really excited because every year at my meetup and at the goddess studio we do a vision board because the time of year is all about planting seeds so here are some images that i wanted to focus on and i may print some of these out and use them on a physical image board but i was getting 
this ready and I wanted to show you just some examples of what you can do. So when the time comes, I will probably copy and paste the writer weight tarot images here, write their keywords, and then my reflection underneath. So that's why that space is open. But this year, I'm really trying to manifest uh, some positivity. And if anybody has been watching Marie Kondo, she is very about sparking that joy in your life. So I want to surround my thing myself with things that spark joy. And one of them is succulents. <laughs> I have a really hard time with the long California summers. However, succulents are one thing that I just, that just make me really happy. <laughs> I'm also trying to manifest a healthy mind and body, a little more energy, um, more ritual into my everyday, obviously cash, cause it doesn't hurt. Back here, if you can tell, a little art space. My husband and I are trying to move in the next year or so, so this is one of the dream houses on Zulu that we found, however, who knows? So I'm putting it on the vision board, putting it out in the universe, and hopefully making some room for change. And making some room for sunshine this past couple of weeks have been mentally draining for no particular reason, but um, I just want that, I want that sunshine back in my life. So this is my Immolk page, and this was the card that I drew for uh, my year had spread, so I included that also. And again, the teapots I really love. So I would like to see how you engage with the wheel of the year. If you keep track as I do with pictures or you journal, I would love to hear from you. And if you use good notes four or five, I would really um, like to hear your favorite things about them and what other journals you include because I have both my grimoires are in here, my bullet journal, my travel logs. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe or like so you can keep up with what the broom closet is doing. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram is Seca Artistry and Facebook is Broom Closet Artistry. And I love, um, I'm always on the Instagram and it's a habit. There are a lot of intentions to be less screen oriented and be in the present, but I am on there. So if you want to connect, come on over to Instagram. Everyone have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.